American Animals was one of those movies that I'd never really heard of. It just came out of nowhere and the poster really intrigued me. You know, it's all about a heist, one of the most daring heists in American history, recent history, that I'd never heard of. Now, I love a good heist movie and um, even when it's a little bit more gritty or raw, I can enjoy it. If it's a little bit more fun like Ocean's Eleven, I can enjoy it as well. And American Animals was a strange beast completely, a strange idea of a movie. It is almost almost a documentary with reenactments or it is almost um, a fictional movie with documentary parts put into it. It's a hard one to really tie down to a specific genre and it's a really interesting tale. You have these two main characters of Spencer and Warren. These are the two uh, people who kind of instigated this idea of possibly doing a robbery and throughout the start of the movie it cuts quite frequently between the, the real person telling parts of the story to the, the filmmaker reenactment of that part. And this is really, it's really a fantastic setup. It's a great way to go into the movie. Uh, and you get Spencer, first of all, telling his tale, how it kind of came about without spoiling too many things. Uh, and then just how he, he dealt with his friend Warren. And then it cuts to Warren. And this is one of those um, really vibrant characters that just go through life. You know, you, you see him instantly, he's talking about a tattoo and you just get I know who that is. There is somebody I know that is that kind of person, very charismatic, not the smartest person, um, but uh, just somebody that, that's, that's fun to be around but is always going to take things too far or push things uh, further than it should be. And a lot of the filmmaking around about the start of the movie is fantastically creative because you have these two main characters of Spencer and Warren who are both giving their accounts of how things led up to this heist, they have varying opinions. It's been a number of years since it happened, so memories have changed and the filmmaking changes as well. So you have Spencer talking about how they first came up with the idea and they were in a car. It will jump to uh, Warren who will say, no, no, it was in a house party and instantly the characters will suddenly change from the car to the house party and back again seamlessly. And it's really fantastic or there'll be a moment where they go to meet a fence, one person will say it was this person, he was short, he was stocky, he had a blue scarf, it was a tracksuit, jumped to somebody else, it would be like, yeah, it was a tall, slim, elderly man with grey hair. And then the film kind of changes to suit whoever's telling that kind of story. And I really love these touches. I thought it added a lot of a, a comed comical moments into the movie that really elevated it. And it, it, this is one of those movies that is absurdly funny. You know, it, it's not a out in your face comedic moments, but just some of the things that the people are doing is so absurd. You can't help but just laugh at how crazy the thought patterns went into doing this. And Spencer is an artist who wants to have that, that kind of moment, that defining moment that, that sort of makes his life uh, um, sort of worthwhile, it makes his art better. You have Warren who just wants to make money. He's just crazy in it for... Uh, the fun of doing stuff and he's the one that kind of drives this story forward as they find out that this library has a wealth of extremely rare books and they decide to rob it because there's no security and it's more like a bumbling attempt to get this because the guys as much as they try to prepare this isn't their lifestyle. This isn't something that they've grown up doing or ever wanting to do. This is just a random set of ideas that have came together as an idea that has kind of snowballed into an almost reality where nobody really, I think, thought they were going to do it. And then somehow it just blows up in their face. But there were so many things I loved about uh, the movie, that about them being friendly, reconnecting a relationship as they tried to plan out how they were going to go about their robbery. The absurd images that you see these people as they almost start to take on the lifestyle of gangsters while being completely inept at almost everything they do as they bring in more people into their crew and realise that their plan was just utter rubbish and they hadn't thought things out fully. It's just so much fun. It was entertaining. I was constantly laughing and giggling at the antics of the characters, even though they're not shot in a comedic fashion, but just, like I said, just the way they come about with the ideas is just hilarious or the way they act is just downright 
hilarious and that is a mix of both the actors and the actual persons who I found charismatic, endearing and I wanted to hear more of their tale. Which brings me down to the point where I kind of lost focus on them as it moves in. As, as the movie goes towards the heist and it starts to take a little bit of a darker, more serious turn, we start to lose the voices and the images of the real people talking about it. And this is probably the moment where I would have liked to have seen more information, have seen more of these people to get into their mindset, their headspace of what they were thinking while they were doing this act, how it started to break down and fall apart and what they were thinking at that moment. But we don't get that, it just moves into a more sort of contemporary filmmaking process as we just see the, the, the things unfold in front of us. But I wanted more. Still good. Could have been a little bit better, I think. American Animals was a wholly enjoyable movie that I had a lot of fun with. I liked the actors, I liked the characters, I liked the real life people telling their tale. I feel it's a story that was entertaining, shocking, and just one of those moments in history where you go like, wow. It was just complete mayhem. You know, these guys shouldn't have been doing what they were doing, but they did, um, and the ramifications because of it. American Animals is probably one of these movies that's going to come into the cinema and move very quickly out of it, which is a shame, because I think it's one that you need to check out, um, just partially because of the filmmaking, partially because of the amazing story. I just think it's an entertaining all-round flick, which is why I gave it four out of five. And I think it's something I'll probably go back to again at some point because I did really like this one. And I hope you check it out. Let me know in the comment box what you thought of it. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.